All right. Look at that. 32 extra inches. That is bigger than my entire waist of 50 degree power. Oh my God. Look at that. I've moved these rafters up a little bit. I hope it's okay. Uh, I think it's fine. Looks good. And then just tuck that panel up all by myself, which was um, great fun. I had this T piece that you kind of prop it up there and then screw it up. I'm using, um, I'm using these guys. One and a half inch, I hope they're good, cabinet screws. I like the look of the, uh, that big flat head on it. Hope it holds the panel better than something like that. These guys, uh, not sure. I think they can really pull into the, into the plywood and just don't want them to pull through. Maybe should have got longer ones now I'm looking at them. But just put more in. Plywood's three quarter inch, so that leaves three quarters of an inch, half that, into the stud. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. That's what I've got on the bottom half, it seems solid. Okay, these are the holes I've got, which are um, mostly just not very, like, early, early edition uh, wood, uh, off-cut-y kind of uh, two by four, Chunks, let's call them chunks. Uh, look at that. That is how you put in a T-nut. Not a T-nut, a, a, a bolt. No washer, just sink it in. And if it doesn't uh, keep spinning, just sink it in further. That's all the way in. That's almost all the way through. Great. These are more, uh, these, are the, these are the pro version. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful cedar, 20 degree in cut, nice and rounded. I was in here the other day and it was uh, humid as heck, which is concerning. But the, uh, I find the wood holds were nowhere near as slippy as the uh, plastic ones. I guess because the plastic ones are more they're different, different thermal thermal properties. So, for example, these guys weren't as cold. They didn't uh, condense the warm, humid air on the surface. That's what it felt like. These felt like they were condensing, like a cold glass of milk. Look at that. Snow, sun. Well, could maybe go outside today, but would involve a lot of snow shoveling and it's cold minus something five or six so i've uh, obviously decided to keep working on the climbing wall i have stuck a large piece of wood to the top of it a two by four just looks you know really constructional but uh there she is come on there we go. So the question is, is it possible to get from the top to the top from the bottom? Let's try. I have to try. Let's see if the camera, that's the next question. Can you actually get the whole freaking thing in? No. Nah. Let's try one. Going down some stairs. Does that work? There's the top. There's the bottom. The bottom. That's American for bottom. Oh man. I don't think it's gonna fit in. Well, okay, I'll just focus on the top so we can see if I'm successful. Okay. Ouch. This place is still a bit of a building site. 
But I think all the building is done for now, so I can tidy up after this. Bit of chalk. Oh, so good. 